Good morning, everybody. I'm back again, and I'm your host, the Supreme Litigant. Uh, Y'all know the routine. Before we begin, go ahead and pound that like button and that subscribe button. Uh, now, today, this is what I want. I want to show y'all something. Uh, I'm gonna, we're going to talk about, uh, I'm going to show y'all a bond. This is an actual judge's bond. This is, in other words, this is their insurance. You see where it says, now, if said principal shall faithfully perform and discharge all of the duties of said office during his continuance, therein then the above obligation will be void. Otherwise, to remain in full force and effect. Anyway, this judge right here, this is a probate judge's bond. Um, <clears throat> just to let y'all know, um, all of these bonds, all of their bonds do not look like this. Some of them have their own separate bond, which is what I'm showing you right now. And some of them have blanket bonds. A blanket bond is just like a blanket. It just covers a lot of um, officers or people or individuals or whatever, so to speak. That's what a blanket bond does. Like, <clears throat> for example, here, um, the blanket bond covers uh the prosecutors the judges that that's all judges that that's circuit judges district judges and municipal judges you know and the prosecutors or whatever okay they are covered under the state's blanket bond okay this particular judge this is a probate judge so this judge uh, has his own bond see where it says probate judge county of mobile all this stuff like that this is his insurance if he um Anytime he he does not faithfully, you know, uh, perform his duties and discharge all of his duties of that office, this is who you contact and file a claim. In other words, an insurance claim against that bond. Just to let y'all know, when I sued the police in federal court, um, when we when we when I went to the uh, the settlement conference, there was this woman there, and I did not know who this woman was. Uh, there was me, the two police officers, the judge, and their attorney, and that woman. Nobody else was in that room. And we started plea negotiations. But I noticed that when, when we, not, not, not plea negotiations, settlement non-negotiations. And I noticed that once we were, uh, um, we, we were separated when we, when we did the settlement negotiations. I was in one room and all three of them, their attorney, you know, that, that attorney, the two police officers, well, all four of them, and that lady, they went to another room. Long story short, that woman was their insurance adjuster because they had insurance. I have a copy of their insurance. They have insurance and they are insured up to, I want to say about $4 million per rights violation. And she was the insurance adjuster. This shit ain't no different then when you and somebody else crash your cars in the middle of the street and now y'all exchanging information and let's say you uh you uh you reach the insurance company they just want to settle with you so they just they start negotiating that's exactly what this shit is y'all that's exactly what this is notice on here now this is his insurance now notice on here you don't see judge Dunn Davis. You see Dunn Davis because this is his private capacity. I want y'all to notice that. You don't see judge on here nowhere. See this? You don't see judge right here. It's his private capacity. This is the judge Dunn Davis. Let me see when he did this. This was in, uh, looks like 2006. Now that judge, if I'm not mistaken, is still the judge down at that probate court if I'm not mistaken. But I just want to show y'all this. This is his insurance. This is his insurance. This is his bond. See this? Now his, let me see, where is his insurance company at? His, uh, it, it's, it's up here somewhere. Uh, where, where are they located at? Okay, Western Surety Company. Look at that. Senior Vice President. Look at this. Look at these signatures, man. 
It's crazy, man. This is their insurance, y'all. Without this, they cannot uh, hold public office. Without this. Should be another page on here, too. Here's another one. Look at this, man. Just their insurance, y'all. I do have a copy of the insurance of, of the blanket bond for the state. I have a copy of that insurance uh, policy. Excuse me. <laughs> and I got that from risk management just to let you all know. Risk management, their, their bonds are going to be in either three places. This is what I believe. They're either going to be with risk management, um, the secretary of state or the probate court. That's where these bonds are going to be at. They're not going to be anywhere else. So y'all search all three of those uh, places. And I'm certain you'll find their bonds. Now, this judge, this is another one. Uh, when did he do this one? This one looks like it's from, uh, what year is this? Instrument number, page one of three. I certify this instrument file. So this is from 2019, it looks like. See, this is the same judge, Mallory Donald Davis, a.k.a. Dunn Davis. Look at this. This is this is his insurance. Public official bond for definite term traveler. So he must have changed companies. Yeah, Travelers Casualty and Surety Company of America. Okay, yeah, he did. He changed companies. Let me see. I'm going to read some of this stuff. Let me see. Where is... Let's see. Let's see, where is it? Um, I'm gonna read some of this stuff. Known all, let me see. Know all men by these presents that we, Mallory Dunn Davis of, wait a minute, this looks like his address. Probably is. I'm not really sure. But anyway, 5613 Regency Oaks Drive North, Mobile 36609, as principal and Travelers Casualty and Surety Company of America, a corporation of Connecticut. Looks like, I think that's abbreviation for Connecticut. As surety are held and firmly bound unto county treasurer, Mobile County, Alabama. In the plus, in a penal sum of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So this is his bond. This is his insurance company dollars. Lawful money of the United States of America for the payment of which will and truly be made said. Let me see. And truly be made said principal binds himself herself, his her heirs, executors, administrators, and assigns. And said should he binds itself, its, its successors assigns jointly and severally, firmly by these presents. Sealed, yeah, this was in 2019. Sealed and dated 7th day of January 2019. Whereas the said principal has been elected judge of probate court for a term of six years. So he's still serving that term then. And is required to furnish a bond for the faithful performance of the duties of said office or position. Look at this shit. Y'all can read the rest. Of it. I'm not going to read all of that stuff. But this is their bond, y'all. This is how a bond looks. This is his signature right here. I can look at that and tell that's his signature. Notice you don't see Judge Don Davis on here nowhere. You don't see it on here. He has his his private capacity name on him, not his public capacity, because that's a title. Just go on to this just so y'all can see how a bun looks. Now, I'm quite sure some of y'all who are gonna watch this video already have received a copy of a judge's bun. So you already know how it looks, but this is their insurance. This is also a contract. A bun is a contract. So I just wanted y'all to see that. Just how it looks. 
Uh, again, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. I really appreciate that. And um, if you are watching this video and you have successfully located a judge's bond for your particular state, please, you know, just comment that information below and just share it so other people will have it, if you don't mind. Um, because these people need to be held accountable. I'm not really sure uh, too much about Dunn Davis, you know, this probate judge, because I don't really do any litigation in there for real. There's very, very little litigation in there that I do. Um, so I can't really form an opinion about him. But these other judges, yeah, them motherfuckers got to go. They, they terrible. Anyway, the Supreme Litigate is out. Peace.